Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I have mentioned about using Swagger for REST API testing. So let's go through the details about Swagger and its feature and see how it is beneficial over Postman that we have used earlier. Let's quickly talk about the content of this video. We will see what is Swagger, the advantage of Swagger over Postman, real-time Swagger use case and its benefit, as well as few important facts about Swagger. So before we jump in, if you recall my last video where we had executed the REST API using Postman, then we had to set up Postman for each and every API method for testing. Not only that, from Postman side, we didn't have any visibility about the number of API methods which are exposed from REST API. Until and unless we go and check into our code directly. Having said that, there is a strong need to automate this whole process of API execution and Swagger exactly does the same thing for us. So talking about Swagger, Swagger is an open source API documentation framework to help developers in design, document and consume RESTful web services. Swagger reads an API and extract in the form of interactive UI called as Swagger UI, which I'll be showing you in my upcoming slides. Swagger UI offers HTML view of API with inbuilt JSON support so that we can directly test our API. Swagger is most popular tool for generating interactive documentation from an API. Now, these two screenshots shows the comparison between Postman and Swagger. The purpose of putting this together for me is to make you understand the importance of Swagger over Postman. As you can see on the left hand side, I have set up all HTTP methods in Postman for my cart API developed in my last video. This was a manual task for each API method by selecting various options in Postman so that we can test those REST API. If there is any change in the REST API request format for URL mapping, the same change we have to do in the Postman to consume their respective REST API method. Now, on the right hand side, Swagger automatically captures the details from the API. It reads the various methods present in the API and put together in a flexible UI screen. If there is any change in the REST API, it automatically read the updated code and update the Swagger UI just by restarting the application. Apart from that, in Swagger, we do not need to do any other setup related to request header or body to test the REST API method. Just upon clicking on those method in Swagger, will give the complete JSON details which is needed to call an API. Now talking about the real world scenario where we will deal with multiple API in a project, in that case, Swagger plays a crucial role which we will discuss here. Consider that you have large number of API in your project and those are dependent to each other and you want to test all of them. In that case, if you use Swagger, you need not to configure them manually in Postman, rather Swagger will do the work for you. Also, anybody who is trying to consume REST API can get a quick documentation by looking at Swagger UI. We will verify all these things when we will configure Swagger in a Spring Boot REST Web Services project in my next video. There are few important facts about Swagger. First is, it is most widely adopted API documentation framework and especially standardized for REST web services, which means it's already used by a lot of developers and there is a huge community support provided. Another thing about Swagger is, it drastically reduced the understanding curve for an API with various automation features. You can keep in mind the example which I told you for more number of microservices. Swagger plays a crucial role for
for a person to understand your system as a whole in that case. Now in my next video, we will configure Swagger in Spring Boot REST web services in just quick four steps. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for my upcoming videos and stay tuned.